Welcome back to part 8 of my Alakana Gujar game. In the last part, my former king, who had I believe six kingdom titles, passed away, uh, fragmenting his land. He never made an empire title, unfortunately, although I think that he did have the land to do so. Uh, so we usurped one of the former uh, son's kingdom titles, and now we are ruling as the kingdom of Punjab. The Gujar Kingdom, it's called, it takes our family name. Uh, and our land is essentially just the exact your land, plus one extra county. Um, so now basically my goal is going to be to kind of try to reunite their former lands and actually form this Rajasthani Empire title, uh, since that is my home empire here. I think it's going to be the easiest one for me to go for, and I think I would rather expand uh, kind of in the immediate land here than try to like build my way into one of these other empire titles. I guess we could go west and kind of get involved in the um, the Persian struggle that's going on, but I don't think I'm going to do that. It just kind of makes more sense to me to stay around this area here. Uh, so we got Know Thyself now. We're 52. We're probably going to be moving on to our next character in like 10 to 20 years, if I had to guess. I'm um, going to head down to Sanction Loopholes so I can get the Buy Claim interaction. And then we can start pressing Duchy Claims instead of just Counties. We don't have access to a lot of Holy Wars because we're surrounded by other Hindus and Buddhists, both of whom we kind of get along with. So expanding our kingdom is going to be a little bit difficult until we get that. I want to look for opportunities, though. Uh, the subjugation wars, I guess we could go for, I would need more, I think you can do one of these each, yeah, one per lifetime, so I should probably make sure to do it on this character before he dies. Uh, it would be sad not to make use of all of them. Do I actually hold one of my holy sites? No. We're quite close though. Uh, if I could subjugate this guy, is that possible? Yeah, maybe I'll maybe I'll try to do that. Um, he's really poor. He's in debt, and his army's gotten smashed. Uh, he was the eldest son, I believe, or the eldest living son, so he actually got the bulk of the land. But the land got split up massively. It was absolute shambles. One, two, three, four, five, six, I believe. Really bad management by their father. Uh, I was really hoping that he would become emperor and then I could get the empire title from him. It would have made this a lot smoother for me, but I just couldn't quite make it happen. Uh, so I'm going to put my focus now on getting my level of fame up to Exalted Among Men on this character so I can make at least use of that extra Casus Belly. That is an amazing son, or grandson. That name looks peculiar to me. Sasala? Cool. Let's let's go with Sasala Gujar. Uh, so I think I'm going to play him, actually. Um, yeah, maybe what I'll do is actually... Oh, he's going to be my second. Okay, that's fine, actually. We'll, we'll be able to make it work. Uh, I can always disinherit one of his grandsons. So she made a cadet branch. Pihu. That's cool. Uh, good to see. Um, yeah, I definitely want to play this kid. So he's got an older brother already. He's going to be third in our line of succession. Uh, the old plan was to play my second son. I think I'm just going to skip that now. He's going to naturally inherit this duchy and two counties, which I think is okay. Um, I think I might actually just imprison my son. I'll take the tyranny now. What does he want? This is part of my land. I want to try to give my vassal's land away. Oh, he wants... Damn, that's kind of annoying. Okay, we'll give it to him. Um, so basically, I'm just going to throw him in the dungeon, not execute him. It's going to take him a while to die. That's why I'd rather do it now. And also, I don't really need them to continue having kids for me. So I'm just going to basically try to skip a generation here. 
Um, we have enough health benefits that I think we should be fine. Yeah, I don't need to send him to university, and then we'll send this guy to university who I plan on playing, 1500. Uh, so let's just do that now, I guess, while I have the gold. So we're betraying our treacherous villain of a son. <laughs> We've thrown him in prison, and we're going to probably end up disinheriting his first grandson. And then playing the second, because I can strengthen Bloodline with him. And that's the decision that I can't take every game. I mean, eventually you can if you play long enough, but generally I'm playing these for like 100 to 150 years or so. I don't want to go too deep into the game, because it just kind of gets uh, redundant at that point. So taking the strength and bloodline decision is not something that I get to do very often, so I'm going to try to do that this game. Um, it's an absolutely monstrous amount of land that I hold directly. All of these here. Uh, and such powerful, well-developed land, too. It's... Uh, really an incredible start. If you haven't played much in uh, the India-Pakistan region here, I would really recommend uh, trying this start out. I think it's really strong. In hindsight, I could have picked probably like a weaker place within India to try to do this, but I've been really enjoying this. My wife's 60. I'm 54. A lot of health benefits, though. Uh, and again, if I do die before this this kid is a adult, then I'm okay. I, I kind of actually enjoy playing the child ruler. I find it can sometimes be a little bit more challenging, and you get some unique events from playing through your childhood that you wouldn't otherwise get to see. Uh, sanction loopholes. Okay. The, uh, um, we can continue expanding that, but what I was going to do was to try to work on my prestige so I can at least do that um, what's it called subjugation war yeah so let's go on hunt on cooldown uh, it wants me to have a master of the hunt let's put you in there mang oh what's this take stewardship of the sacred river lord of the Ganges, the Ganges plain my realm capital has to be located within it, and I have to completely control the region. Oh, it's not really even our re region, it's this river here. Uh, we're like adjacent to the land, we don't even have anything within it. Probably not going to be able to do that. Um, maybe I'll do that for another game. My next time in India, I'll play more in this Bengali area here and uh, go for that. That'd be kind of cool. I haven't played a Buddhist game yet, so maybe I'll do that at some point in the future. Um, but anyways, let's hunt on cooldown, basically, just for the prestige. I'm going to pay this one. Yeah, more prestige, better success chance. Yeah, let's go. Healing water, stress gain minus 10%. I don't care too much about that. we got here um maybe i'll give that to my second son just give him something so we can drop this stress again found soulmate okay I'm okay going into debt because I get out right away. Decent amount of prestige. Uh, makes some progress. We're about halfway there at least. So what duchies do we have adjacent to us? This one's kind of split up, unfortunately. Uh, I'm not... Oh, I'm not... I'm in debt. Okay, so let's get out of debt for a second here. I think because of this, like, little... I. I'm assuming this is a desert. Not too sure. What? What? I... 
Are these actually two different people? Raja Lobhachalanka? Did he marry the same person twice? She? Why is it like that? That's so weird. Uh, anyways, so she started sleeping around with that kid's, or that uh, guy's marshal. <laughs> I don't know. Like, whatever. You do what you want down there. It doesn't really affect me. Uh, okay, so. Who are you? My marshal has a claim on this duchy here, it looks like. It's not actually attached to our land, but it wouldn't be the worst thing for us to do. On the other hand, buying a claim here and then subjugating this is going to give us a pretty nice chunk. So maybe I'll do that. Uh, who are you? Queen of Shishia. A little bit far away from me. So now we can press my claim on that duchy. A little bit more land, plus I'm getting it directly. Um, I definitely think that I can win the war, but let's just get a little bit more gold first before we try to do that. What do we have here? Okay. I do want to save up, but if I have something decent here... Oh yeah, legendary, renowned skill. Let's get him. Statue, chest, box? Statue, whatever. How's the health looking? 55. Um, I can always just finish Scholar and then continue on down Hole of Body. Might actually kind of make the most sense on this character. How's his health looking? He is Herculean. Uh, so it's going to be hard to kill him. Like, we can always torture him or whatever. It's going to cause 30 stress. It's actually not too bad. 100 piety. Yeah, let's go for it. Recently tortured. Possessed. Dungeon. Uh, he did get possessed. <laughs> okay. It's a health penalty. And, you know, sometimes you got to help them to an early grave. It's, it's just a part of the game. <laughs> oh, she did not deserve it. What happened here? Oh, died in childbirth. Wow, she got pregnant and then died trying to birth the child. And the kid didn't live either. Oh, it did. Okay, there we go. Manage grief. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Um, I'm going to take the Renown. It's probably the strongest choice overall whenever it's available. He's, he's not too upset. He's still plus 100 of me. I did imprison and torture his brother, but he maybe didn't like him that much anyway. The kids the kids are less thrilled with me. Fair enough. I'm going to put him in diplomacy. So who are you? I felt like we already had an alliance. What's going on there? Him and my daughter. His brother and my daughter. I thought that I already did that. Like, the exact same thing. Anyways. It said it was giving me an alliance, so obviously my alliance with him was broken at some point. Um, is that this one? Ugh, oh, that's annoying. I thought he was inviting me to the 99% war, but it's actually a brand new war. I'm going to lose level of fame if I don't accept. That's really annoying. I wouldn't have done that if he was in a brand new war. He was just in a war that had 99%, so I didn't think I would get called into anything. Uh, at least we got a really good statue. 4% renown. Some prestige. We need the prestige, so that's good. Hunt. Three more months. We'll be able to get some more prestige. Whatever. How are things going here? Okay, so she died. She had a son, though. He's now the duke here. Callous fool. Can I convert you again yet? There we go. Everyone will be smarter. He's kind of taken all the land back from his vassals, too. It was pretty split up before. 
Um, so sometimes I like to spend a little bit of time in diplomacy, but I think I'm just going to continue on with learning. We can always reset perks if we need to. So if I ever want to drop my health, I can always reset and get rid of whole of body if I actually end up going down there. Uh, yeah, let's just keep going down here. I think it's the best thing. Almost done battlements. I might go for royal prerogative after that. Just for the sake of stopping my vassals from warring with each other, which just always seems to annoy me whenever it happens. How are things going here? Still in poor health. Still plus 100 opinion of me. You know, I imprisoned him and tortured him, but overall I'm still a pretty good dad, I guess. Friend. <laughs> friend plus 60. Sorry, my friend. Hopefully you forgive me. Craft something glorious? Tempting. The history of my kingdom. Okay. okay so let's hunt again. Mostly doing it for the prestige. Oh, I forgot to do the th third option. It should really remember what you're trying to do. Instead of resetting it. Apparently my Master of the Hunt died as well. It seems like my ally is actually winning the war without me, though. Which is good, since I don't really intend to go and help him. How do I keep failing these? It's like 70% to succeed. I feel like we're not getting enough progress here on the prestige. Uh, weapon, perfect, that's what I want. Let's get a sword or a dagger, and then what's this? Study metals? You know what, do your thing, dude. Oh, you guys gotta convert, though. Uh, bunch of heathens coming into my court. Okay, awesome, we got a lot of good stuff building, at least. That's something for me to be excited about. Uh, okay, all of his progress is gone now. <laughs> What happened there? I don't understand why there's any war score. Become friends with him? <laughs> okay, sure. Arsenic, quicksilver, silver, or gold? I'm pretty sure that gold is like big in Indian culture. Um, I don't know too much about it. How are things going with my son here? Still poor health, still still forgiving me for the most part. Uh, she just got in a war. That's bait. I'm, I'm not doing that. Um, so let's work on Royal Prerogative. We got battlements now. I'm going to start the keep in my capital, but I don't have enough for all the rest of them yet. We've kind of been spending our money. What do we got here? Pressed Lily? Yeah, let's just get rid of that now. Health fine, despite all those benefits. So we'd probably be in poor health if we didn't have some of them at this point. Uh, what did we get? I didn't even have a look-see. Oh, just a tapestry. Okay. Higher? Oh, it's not bad. 10% learning? Um, yeah, let's, let's just go in on trying to make the uh, item as good as possible, I guess. Like I became Punjabi. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to start building these slowly. 24 away. There we go. That's it? 
that's worse than the other thing that I was trying to make. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Uh, back in debt here. But we should be able to get out pretty damn quick. Ooh, interesting. What is that? 13 prowess. That's a lot, actually. Glory Hound Vassal Levy Contribution, plus 3%. Certainly better than my old sword. Uh, it's kind of like a unique looking thing. I'm assuming that's from uh, the Persian DLC. Don't know if I've seen that before. 13 prowess is a lot for a blue quality weapon though. So we finish our keep in Lahore. Uh, eventually we'll be able to build the buildings here. We can't do it yet because we're in some debt. One hundred percent religious fervor. I guess we're pretty well concentrated in our area here. Uh, the expansion is going well. We actually are kind of converting our land, and our vassals should be slowly working on it as well. Uh, so we're raising both of our grandsons here now. Oh, there will be no treatment. Poor health. Recently tortured. You know what? It happens. Um, I'm just gonna upgrade whatever I can in my capital county. Uh, the fort level is always good in your county. Sometimes you'll get into wars where they're trying to siege it down. Uh, the feast doesn't say it gives prestige, but I'm pretty sure that it does. I guess we could do a grand tournament. I, I very rarely actually do these things. Oh. Okay, so we're going to go on another hunt. Uh, I can't actually do this yet. Okay, let's just wait one tick. Then we should have enough. We'll maximize the prestige. my rival who are you he claimed my kingdom title he's a one county count what were you thinking uh, this guy's now losing the war I succeed at one of these things for once? Ooh, legendary sighting. Yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> I'm probably going to be hunting a little bit here. Uh, I just keep failing these. I still get like a decent amount of prestige, but it's a little bit disappointing. And yeah, we're slowly getting there, I guess. So this is the first of them. The one that I'm not going to be playing. Uh, Zealous is fine. I'd rather my future brother be zealous than ambitious or whatever it was, um, sadistic. Yeah, this kid's amazing. It's too bad that Genius is the one that couldn't get passed on, but still, hard to complain when you have a son that good. Oh! Don't usually fail that event. Usually you can get the uh, the trait that allows you to go through the learning tree quicker. Okay, so really lopsided war here now. I was kind of hoping to get this war first, though. Subjugation. We still just need some progress. Um, let's just feast. Let's just feast. Uh, moderate prestige gain. Yeah, greatly increased prestige gain. Opinion gain. We don't care too much about that. On the other hand, we're rich, so let's just do it. It's odd that it doesn't actually like list prestige as a benefit of hold holding the feast.
It's always kind of given prestige, though. Okay, so... How did that happen? Uh, everything's the same here. Uh, it's just his eldest son is now the primary heir. I think I'm just going to, in advance, disinherit him. We can always re-inherit if we need to. But this way we'll be ready to go playing this son. Uh, this guy will get... He'll be our uncle. He'll get this duchy and then the couple counties that we hold within it. But we're holding 11 holdings right now anyways, and we're not going to be able to hold all those on our son. Especially since he's going into diplomacy and not stewardship. So it's fine that I'm losing that land. I'm just going to focus on the prestige options here. But anyways, we're totally ready to take over any time, basically, on this kid. A lot of stress loss. Uh, still a decent amount of prestige. Happy to see it. Abandon my pursuit? No way. I want to. I want to go on the legendary hunt if I can. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna continue down here. I guess go for a hold of body. Galia. Well, we don't have one yet. This guy's so disappointing. Can't you just rule your kingdom without my help? This capital didn't even get sieged down. They've just been sieging everything else down. Yeah, it looks like we have a way bigger army. I don't really care about the alliance. Like, it's not big enough that I'm going to go and help him. It's just kind of an annoyance, really. I guess we can get my other son married here. Just find some random gal for him. There you go. Uh, yeah, he's all pissed off with me. <laughs> Caused the death of his family member and then disinherited him in favor of his younger brother. You know, I, I don't really blame him for being upset. Okay, so we're almost exalted among men. Let's just go on one last hunt, and then we're going to be able to do that. Uh, go for the war that we wanted. Uh, hopefully just do back-to-back -back wars, pretty much. Get Pratihara under our control, and then go for that duchy in uh, this other one here. Should go pretty smooth. Uh, yeah, he's in trouble right now, which is good for us. So we can try to press this war as soon as possible. We don't care about this guy anymore, <laughs> sorry to say. I'll just make him compassionate so he's less of a doo-doo head. Uh, zealous and compassionate, he's not ever going to cause problems for us. Okay, so we got a regalia now. Did not see him. The sky dies? My vassal, Shorvir, and rival. This is not the time. You know, I'll just go for it. I got on a secret. Attempted murder. It wounded him, but it didn't actually kill him. Okay. He's going to be mad at us, but he's our rival anyway. It got away this time. I didn't actually see the option to go on a legendary hunt. Or was it there and I just didn't take it? Oh, it was. Damn it. Can I do that? You know what, I'll figure it out next time. Anyways, we got our uh, living... No, oh, not living legend. Exalted among men. So now we can finally do this subjugation war. Uh, it's still going to be a battle. His army's still decent sized with his allies. Um, but I think we'll be able to take him. I'm going to be declaring that war for sure in the next part. Uh, and then hopefully going to war with this guy again right after. So we'll be able to expand our land quite a bit here. 
Thank you for watching this. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and leave me a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one.